Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to lesson 4.5.1 on articulation. So in unit two, we looked at dynamics. In unit three, we looked at tempos. And today, we will be looking at articulations, which is another aspect uh, of music, another element of music that we haven't really touched on before. So articulation collectively refers to the attack style, volume, and length of a note uh, or its sound envelope if you're more involved in the music production side of things. Uh, some articulations are specific to certain groups of instruments. We're not going to get into that too much um, in terms of these videos. If you have specific questions, I'm of course happy to answer them. Uh, that may come up in terms of future composition projects, etc. But we're just more looking at general articulations that you'll see across a variety of instruments. First articulation we're going to worry about is a slur. This is a curved line that connects two or more notes of different pitches. That's great. So that's a slur. But what does it do? It means to play legato, or connected, a smooth connected style. So if there were no slur, I might say one, two, three, four. Um, actually, I'll just do do, 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 do. With a slur, do, making sure to connect them. Uh, no separation with a syllable uh, or with a change of bow or anything like that, depending on what instrument you're doing. It means a different technical thing, but the effect is always smooth and connected. Do. Um, generally, you want slurs above the notes. That's the default. However, if all of the notes under a slur are upstem, then the slur goes below. So here, they're all downstem, it goes above. Here, it's a mix, it goes above. Here, they're all upstem, so the slur goes below, because otherwise it would just be connecting stems. That's just a little bit weird. Um, slurs can often be confused with ties. Remember that a tie is also a curved line, but it connects exactly two notes of the same pitch. So, and it means something completely different. It means to just create one note that has the added duration, in this case, one half plus one plus one half, assuming we're in a four, four and taking a quarter note beat. So this passage would sound like this. Do. The slur means that it needs to be connected. The tie means that this is a single note, or the ties. So the next four articulations we're going to look at all deal with length and attack, and I put them into this handy chart for you. So in terms of note length, we're dealing with two different possibilities, either having some separation between the notes, do, 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 or having full length notes, do, 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 do. The attack we're also putting in two different categories, either normal, do, 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 or strong, do, do, do. Um, and again, depending on what instrument you're dealing with, uh, the exact technical specifications of how that is achieved differ. But in general, if we have staccato, then we have a dot above or below the note. Do, 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 do. The style of the music will determine exactly how much separation there is, um, but there will be some space and daylight between the notes. Notice that these go directly above or below the notes. If it's off to the side, that's going to be a rhythmic dot. That's something entirely different. Full length normal attack, tenuto, uh, which means held, which means you're going to make sure to hold the notes for their full length, which like, isn't that what we always do? Depending on the style, not necessarily. In March style, a lot of unmarked notes are assumed to be slightly separated, so a tenuto would indicate, no, really do hold these out for their full value. Do, 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 do. And depending on the style and context, uh, it may there may be a slight emphasis on them. Like if you had um especially under a slur, you're not going to actually attack it um do do probably. So do so there's just a little more emphasis that way. Strong attack with separation is called marcato. It has this uh, kind of hat or roof-shaped, I don't know, it has a hat. 
And it's especially a hat because it always goes above the note. Um, that's unique. All the others can go either above or below. Mercato, always above. Two, 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 two. And again, depending on context, slightly different interpretations, but strong attack, separated. And if you have a strong attack with a full length note, that's a normal accent, which looks like a tiny diminuendo because that's kind of what you do. Two, 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 two. You have a stronger beginning of the note that comes back to whatever the general dynamic level is. Two, 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 two. And the last symbol that we're going to look at isn't really an articulation, but it's a symbol applied to a single note. So we're going to look at it here. It is called a fermata. And it looks like this, so like a semicircle with a dot in the middle. And what this means is to hold a note for longer than its written value. If you're playing by yourself, you can decide how long you want it to be. If you're playing with other people, then you need to uh, collectively agree how long you're going to hold it. Otherwise, uh, things will get weird. If you have a conductor, they'll probably show you how long to hold it. Cut it off. Uh, if you're playing with a couple other people, uh, you just have to collectively decide how you're going to show that. But it means to hold it longer than its written duration. I will see you next time.